I bought a Firefox phone here in 2024, and in this video, I'll open it up, test it out, and try to find out why this thing even exists. Now, we've seen a lot of weird phones in this channel. We had this one over here that had a phone inside of the pen somehow. I, that was strange. We also had this one over here that was so small you could barely see it. It was from Timu. Magic things were happening over there. I don't know. Those were strange. This one, though, takes the cake. This is the weirdest one on the wall. I'm guaranteeing it. You'll see why in a second. Let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, I have gone one layer deeper now. It says ZTE open here. I see the phone and, and there it is, Firefox OS. Somehow this is coming back to me now. I, I vaguely remember this, a kind of, like there was an operating system that Firefox worked on. I, I have to find out more. All right, it's, it's already unsealed. Let's go ahead and pop her open. There it is. Look at this thing. I, I kind of love it. Look at how orange it is. That is so orange. <laughs> Let's see what else is in the box though first. Okay, a lot going on. We got a charging cable. Look, look, look at this thing. What, what is this charging brick? I have never seen this before. Okay. And then we have this cable here. It looks like a micro USB, which is interesting. I haven't seen that on a phone in a long time. So, so everything's leading me to believe that this phone is a little older than I thought it would be. We also have, what is this? Is this headphones? Yo, look at this goofy looking nonsense. What, is this like a, it's got buttons and it's got like a microphone hole on it. <laughs> okay, we gotta test that out later. <laughs> Oh, it's got one of the, look at this, got the headphones, but one of them is like really short. How does this happen? Why, why would you make headphones like this? I also see in the box, there's a, there's a battery. Yeah, look at that brand new battery. I'm looking at the, the, the little manual that they included with the phone. And there's a, there's a side here for developers. Firefox OS takes open web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and uses them to produce an entire mobile operating system. Uh, this is the other thing I was thinking about the device. It seems like the entire phone system is like running off of web applications. I don't know how that works. Like, is it essentially using websites for <laughs> as apps? Like a shortcut to a website is your photos app or something? Like, what does that mean? I just have more questions than answers, honestly, the more I look into this thing. <laughs> wait, 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 I didn't even see this. If you know how to hack the web, you already know how to hack this phone and make it your own. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> They're like openly telling you to break this phone open. That's rad, actually. Would you take a look at this thing? It weighs absolutely nothing. It, it is the lightest thing I've ever felt. And it's probably because it has no battery in it. Uh, let's see if I can get the back open. All right, and we can also see while I'm in here that it supports a micro SD card. And is that the ability to use two SIM cards? That's pretty cool. Slot that in there. What are the chances it has charge? Who knows how long this thing's been sitting around? There's no way. What? Oh my God, that screen is so dark. Firefox OS. Is this really its own operating system? Oh, look at that. And there we go. We're, we're into the phone. So guys, you're not going to believe this, but I found out later that the phone was supposed to be new. It's supposed to be a brand new phone. How is this possible? This phone is like 10 years old. How can it have a fully charged battery and still be brand new? It's just not possible. Something isn't right here. There's something amiss. There's something going on. I will get to the bottom of it. Language, English. Yes. I'm only seeing our uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. That's okay though. Start your phone tour. Join us for a quick tutorial about your new phone. Swipe from left to right to browse your apps. Sounds good. Swipe from left to right to discover new apps. Oh, huh? Swipe down to access recent notifications, credit information, cr credit information? Huh? Like, like my credit score? Or is that like my social credit? I don't, I don't know. Tap and hold the home button to browse and close recent apps. Okay, it's got a task manager, that's cool. Interesting, okay, so we have like a home screen here. Whoa, 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 okay, I swiped left and what is this? Find things you love with the coolest apps, okay. And then I swipe this way and I see a list of more apps, but it doesn't swipe anymore. Didn't it say I could keep swiping to find more apps? Maybe that's what this is. Is this, is this like the store? Is whatever store this thing is using even gonna work anymore? I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm not seeing any progress in the loading situation here, so I'm just gonna cancel for now. Do not adjust automatically. Keep on bright. That's the brightest it goes. Okay, you can see from the viewing angles too that it, uh, if you're not looking at it straight on, it is not a very bright display. Okay, so 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 far, I actually, I, I, I kind of like this OS they have going on. It, what is this though? It's, it's kind of like Android, but not. Stop. Scrolling, stop that. Do, do you see that? I, I, I'm releasing and I want to read, but then it, it, it scrolls up on me. Hold on, let's check for updates. Maybe there's an update available. No, uh, no, it's just telling me my rights. They're coming to arrest me. Oh, they're definitely coming to arrest me after what I do to this phone later in the video. One interesting thing I noticed about this phone so far is that there's no back button. So I, I, I have no back button here, here, or on the screen itself. And there's no like gesture system. So I just have to hope that I, it, it, it's, it's like, uh, it's like old, old iOS style. <laughs> Okay, okay, at this point, I think I've waited long enough. I, I gotta do some research on this thing, like figure out what the heck this is, because this is, I don't know, like I said, I vaguely remember this thing, but I wanna find out when it was made, why it was made, and, and, and who the heck this was made for, so I'll be back. 
2,000 years later. All right, I'm back. It's been a day and I've, I've spent the whole night and the next morning researching this phone and the history and the legacy of it. Here's the thing, right? What I mostly wanted to know was when this thing came out, what it cost and, and like what was available at the time, right? That would compare to this kind of device. So as you saw in the box, this phone is actually called the ZTE Open and it's powered by Firefox OS. So it's not actually like a Firefox phone, it's ZTE's phone and this is their brand of that phone that happens to run Firefox OS. Specifically, the reason it's called the Open is because this phone is supposed to be designed for developers and for people to make like apps on it. It's not supposed to necessarily be your daily driver phone, although eBay themselves are the ones who sold this phone, which is really weird. <laughs> so, and they seem to sell it to anyone. So I, I don't know. The whole thing with this seems strange, but here's the interesting part. This phone only cost $80 when it came out. That's not bad. It's crazy. You know, you easily spend $800, $1,000, $1,200 on a phone. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say this was top of the line. To give you some you know, perspective, this was the same year the iPhone 5S came out, the Galaxy S4, the mighty HTC One. Ooh, peak design phone right there. And while all those phones are great and definitely better than this one, those ones all cost like 200, 250, 300, depending on like, you know, the configurations or whatever. The fact that this was out for 80, I could have seen it being a compelling option, especially if you were a developer at the time, you know, you pay $80 and you have a, a nice little device that you can make apps for. But now we start to get into the downsides, right? Uh, Firefox OS, what exactly is up with this? So here's what I was able to find. It's based off of Linux, just like Android is. So Android, you got Linux down here, you got Android on one side, Firefox OS on the other, right? These are two split paths, they're related. It seems like, in fact, Firefox OS can kind of run in an Android environment in some situations, like it was, a, it was an app you could run on Android, very interesting. Here's the downside. This was shut down like a year after <laughs> it came out, the uh, servers for Firefox OS. I still wanna explore it, let's still see what we can do. The first thing I gotta do here is I gotta open up the Firefox page, and you can see I already tried to open up YouTube, and <laughs> it, <laughs> it tells me your device is no longer supported. Please update to Android 4.0 or above to use YouTube. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. It's not totally dead though. You see, if I go to Google, I can still look up things and, and use the crappy keyboard. So <laughs> it's not completely useless. Oh yeah, we gotta test the camera. No memory card found. Insert a memory card to take pictures. What? It has no internal memory at all? That's something. All right, I got an SD card in there now. I also threw it a SIM card for some reason. I, I don't even know if that'll do anything, but I, I figured why not, let's try it. All right, but let's see if I can actually take photos now. No memory card found. I, I what? Oh, oh, did I get it to work? Okay, it's working, jeez. I, I don't know, I had to try a few different micro SD cards before it would actually work. I don't know why, but I'm in the camera. Let's start with a photo here. Oh my. Okay, to be fair, I don't have like a, like a Samsung S4 or, or an iPhone 5S to compare it to. Maybe it's not that bad, but first impression, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty horrendous. Now we gotta try video. This video I'm using on the ZT. What did I cover the mic? What happened? Well, either way, you can still tell the actual video quality is quite bad, just like the photo. So <laughs> cool. I, I don't know. Not a very good camera. It also doesn't have a front facing camera at all, which is interesting. What is this? Is this our text? What does this do? Messages. I'll write a message. Sure. Oh, I couldn't find your mom. Man, that's a first. Guys, quick update. I, I found your mom. She's over here enjoying this phone a little too much from yesterday's video. Can I make a call? That'd be pretty funny. No, unsurprisingly, that didn't work. I don't even know if this is the right SIM card, so I, I don't know. Guys, quick update. I, I found your mom. She's over here enjoying this phone a little too much from yesterday's video. What is this, a radio? FM radio requires a plugged in headset to receive radio signals. Well, wait, good thing they included one. Mm. Yeah, they feel horrible. They hurt my ears just putting them in. That's great. Definitely miss earbuds like these. Oh look, there's there's music. It's actually working. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> we found the one function that actually works on this phone in 2024. I gotta find a way to test this microphone. Hold on, let me see if I can find something. This is a mic test. Uh, so I was hanging out with your mom last night, as I usually do, and um, she made me cookies. Your favorite. All right, what a surprise. It's a, a terrible headphone mic combo. The worst ever held by human beings. Great, cool. <laughs> Glad that works. I like how there's a Wikipedia app. What happens if we open that? Wikipedia is not loading properly. You can see it's like pulling up like a website error there for a second. So it's very clear that this is just <laughs> loading up wikipedia.com and putting it as an app on your home screen. Interesting. AccuWeather, let's see if this works. Uh, nope. Great. 
Marketplace, this will work for sure. Yeah, okay. Here maps? Welcome. Okay, sure. Work, please. Wait a minute, it's like, it's trying to do something. Uh, search for a place. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this is working either. Great. What does a music app do? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I, okay. I assume it can read songs from like the micro SD card. So this might have just been on the micro SD card I put in. I, I don't, I don't know what was on that originally. So maybe that's from there. I, hey, at least you can play music. I could do that at least. Thanks for watching the video. Um, let me know down in the comments if you had one of these or had any interest in picking one up for some reason 10 years ago. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.